Hello fans of Dishonored and potential buyers of Dishonored 2. You are listening to the voice of Dishonored 1's original creator, Robert Ford. In this video I will tell you why I demand that you do not purchase Dishonored 2. This video will have three segments. Segment 1 will be about Dishonored being a cash grab and a game lacking a lot of content. Segment 2 is about how Bethesda is a corrupt company that steals your money. Segment 3 will be miscellaneous points. While I am the person that decided Dishonored would be a cash grab, I am not the person that decided it would be $60 day one. If you are wondering why or how I know Dishonored is a cash grab, it is because I am its original creator. This means that Dishonored was designed from day one to take your money and give you, the consumer, very little content in return. Please note that while I am the game's original creator and designer, I did not force Bethesda or ZeniMax to make this game what it is. Bethesda was obviously glad to make a game such as this where arguably very little effort was put into the game before giving it a laughable $60 price tag. It's possible that I suggested a $60 price tag, but there's no way that I enforced that price. Dishonored is a video game that lacks content in almost every extreme, from killing the exact same enemy over and over and over again, to being forced to go to the Hound Pits pub at least 20 times in the entire game's run. If you were to look at the game's content in its entirety, I'd argue that maybe 30 to 40% of the game is just walking around the Hound Pits pub and doing whatever. I don't think there's any other FPS in existence that forces you to play the same content as much as Dishonored. In addition to that point, it almost feels like this game has only 10 different textures for walls and floors. Some areas of the game are indistinguishable from each other. Almost every character in this game looks exactly the same, and it ranges from skinny guy to broad-shouldered guy to skinny woman. This isn't done on accident, this is done so that Bethesda could cheat you of actual content. It almost feels like I'm killing the exact same four people from start to finish. Dishonored borrows, or plagiarizes, ten things from Half-Life 2. From City 17, to the apocalyptic police state setting, striders, headcrab zombies, combine soldiers, force field barriers, and female companion that follows you around and doubts DLC. There's others, but I've made my point. Bethesda and ZeniMax are bad companies. The first and easiest point to make is how these companies have treated me, the original creator of the series. Both companies know who I am and what I did. They know this game only exists because I made it, and they know that I only made it to get paid, hence the fact that it is a cash grab. Yet again, it only exists so that I would finally get paid for making a video game. If I had known I'd be cheated again, I probably wouldn't have made it a cash grab. But honestly, if you know you're going to make another quality game for free and get treated like garbage, would you? Or would you do what I did and make it what it is? They know I can't sue because of the way I created Dishonored, and because of this they know the easiest way to get away with it is to ignore me like cowards. My name is in the credits under special thanks, but I think that's just to insult me even more. Instead of original creator at the very top, I'm in the special thanks at the bottom. I laughed at this first, but it's really not funny anymore. It's possible I may have suggested this, but I really can't remember. Once again, I only made this game to finally get something from my efforts, not to have my name in the credits. This is what I would like you to understand most of all from this video. I have made many, many successful video games. Let's just pretend that it was only 9 and Dishonored is the 10th, which it isn't. Valve has literally made millions off of me. I'm not lying to impress you or feel better about myself. Valve has made millions off of my games. So I finally decided to say enough is enough and make a cash grab named Dishonored. Literally named after my own Dishonored. While making it I said multiple times that I have to get paid for this one. I can't be cheated for this one and so forth. Guess what? I was cheated again. 
Believe it or not, there are actually other people like me. We give our ideas away hoping that the so-called people that make them finally decide to pay us. It starts off with one game and we're glad we made it. Then on the third or fourth video game, we finally realize how disgusting it is to have our ideas stolen and to be giving nothing but a pat in the head like some kind of dog. They never pay us, and at this point, it's obvious they never will. If I remember correctly, I was never supposed to talk about being cheated like this, and I guess I shouldn't. This country is run by corrupt people that do actively punish you for speaking about their corruption. The things I've learned about this country for making video games is disturbing, to the point where I'm not going to bother. Technically, this is all my fault, because I was stupid enough to think I would actually get paid for designing a game like this, where fun, easy to play, easy to make, easy to sell, FPS is made by me and for me. God forbid that I actually expect to get paid for making a video game that sells millions of copies and is successful enough to get its own sequel. Again, it's literally named Dishonored so that it would be impossible to forget whose Dishonor it's based off of. I could go on for hours about how disgusting this whole situation is, but it's futile. All I can really do is plead for you to stop supporting corrupt video game companies and stop buying their games. I'll repeat it here again just for the sake of it. Don't buy Dishonored 2. Don't reward Bethesda and Zenimax for stealing your money. I know at this point in the video there will be people who are inclined to disagree with me and say that they enjoyed Dishonored and it was money well spent. I can't tell you whether you should have enjoyed Dishonored or not, but I can tell you that you were cheated of a lot of content from a game that was already overpriced. I'll move on to the second part of this segment to stop this video from being a sob story about my horrible life. Bethesda and ZeniMax are bad companies because they don't care about you, the consumer, or me, the creator. You might think this is opinion, but it's fact. It's fact because even though I put Corvo's tombstone at the end of Dishonored, and I say I don't want to have a sequel if I'm cheated again, they still make it Dishonored 2 without paying me. I won't even bother explaining how stupid this is. Corvo's tombstone is there for a reason. I'd like to think that tombstone represents whatever life I may have had if I had been paid anything for making this game. Rest in peace. Earlier this year, Bethesda and Valve attempted to make paid mods an actual thing. Luckily, the community backlash was amazingly done and put these idiots in their places. Can you honestly see yourself supporting Bethesda after attempting to force you to buy mods for a game that sold millions of copies? Skyrim made Bethesda and ZeniMax millions upon millions of dollars, and they have the nerve to try to tax modifications made by the community? This would be like Nintendo trying to charge you money for mods that change Mario's clothes, or trying to charge you money for playing as Yoshi with horse armor. The video game industry is an industry that is for making money, yes, but the paid mods fiasco should really help you see how badly these companies need to be put back in their places, and they are nothing without your money. If I, Dishonored's original creator, is given nothing for making Dishonored, why the hell should you pay for their game? I only made this game so that I'd finally get paid for doing so once in my life. Like I said before, I've made many quality games, and finally decided to make a game completely dedicated to getting me something. No, I was given nothing, and they obviously expect me to sit on my hands and say nothing while Dishonored steals even more of your money. If they don't pay me and cheat you of content, why should you punish yourself by purchasing Dishonored 2? They don't care about you, and they don't care about me. Fact, not opinion. In their defense, I will say that Bethesda and ZeniMax are not the first companies to cheat me. Devolver Digital will be the only example I can give at this point. But in regards to Devolver Digital, I never made a game completely and solely dedicated to getting me money, like Dishonored was. Again, it is literally named Dishonored so that it would be impossible to forget to pay me. They cheated me because they know they can get away with it. And they will if you don't help me send this video to the people that need to see it. Please send this link to your friends that purchased Dishonored or may have Dishonored 2 in their wish list in the future. What must be understood here is that Dishonored is the only game dedicated to me and my problem of being cheated. No other game I've made was made for the single purpose of giving me a percentile of profits. 
I specifically specified while designing the game that all they have to do is save a percentile of the profits for me. I didn't ask for a lump sum, and I didn't demand a ridiculous amount of money. All I said is a percentile of the profits, and they couldn't even do that. Miscellaneous points. All of the game's DLC was planned from the exact same time Dishonored was made. A large sum of the game's DLC was most likely already completed when the game was released. I know this because I designed most of the game's DLC while I was creating Dishonored. I only remember this because I was designing Dowd's female companion only a couple of days after making Dowd himself. If you are not disgusted by this and are okay with overpriced DLC planned from day one, then I guess there's really nothing I can say to help you understand. Dishonored's Time Trials DLC is a flat out troll by me and unfortunately I can't apologize for it. If you actually bought it full price, I implore you to see a physician or psychologist. If by some odd chance you actually dislike me because of what I say in this video or maybe because of the Time Trials DLC or maybe even my voice, please note that someday I might actually get paid for making Dishonored or Dishonored 2. If you dislike me, don't buy Dishonored 2. And if you do like me, don't buy Dishonored 2. I'm not the first person to be cheated by this industry, and I won't be the last. Please do your part and help people see why they shouldn't purchase Dishonored 2. This video should be enough. Don't forget that no matter how bad Fallout 4 will be, it will still make Bethesda and Zenimax millions again, so they definitely do not need your money from Dishonored 2. Thank you for watching.